some of what I've been out uh, telling people about is, uh, for instance, if you were to ask the government uh, what what do they say about God? Mm -hmm. It's as if the national motto is, in God we trust. Okay. They couldn't come up with an answer. They'd be fighting about it, like anything else. Laws okay. of the land and so forth. People don't agree. And so, if uh, you look at it, there's really not one God of America. People can be saying non-agreeing things when they say, quote, God. Okay. Even people who call themselves, quote, Christians, can not know God, and their beliefs are so different that they are professing imaginary, quote, gods. So if you look back to America's history, even the colonial days, people never agreed about faces in this land to where uh, people profess different gods. So there's not really one God in America. If you take the angle of, consider, try to consider God's perspective. Uh, he doesn't want his people to go along with non-Christians as if we all agree about God. Uh, that's about it. Uh, that's a good start right there. Okay, so you're referring to like the founding of the country where the founding fathers um, went from a lot of different religious backgrounds and they weren't really all, you're saying that they weren't really all based on God and they weren't really all... Well, obviously, I mean, look at, look at the, the uh, huge variety of beliefs. For instance, uh, well, I, I think it was 2007, the Pope of the, the Roman Catholics came out and said that Roman Catholicism is the one true faith. Mm -hmm. That uh, you know, they can't, the Catholics say they can't take communion if they had a, quote, Protestant church. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a huge disagreement. People aren't agreeing. And people want to think, oh, yeah, but they're still all talking about God. You know, there's universal belief in God. Mm -hmm. uh, but I say God might give witness to all people, but when their beliefs are so different, they're professing imaginary God. They really aren't talking about God. They aren't functionally accurate. Yeah. And so um, there's such a variety of beliefs in America, even since colonial days, right. that it's non-functional to say and to act as if everyone agrees. It's, yeah. it's not loving towards God. Do you think that America is a Christian nation? I think it's never been. I think there's been Christians in America. Loads of beauty, loads of evil. And uh, if we get to know God more and more, He's perfect, He's pure. If we get to know God more, uh, we'll see our own unrighteousness more and more. I believe that's the kind of experience that. Yeah, I would, I would have to agree with that. Um, yeah, that, that America was never... The founding fathers were, uh, yeah, some of them well, were pretty. For instance, you know, people really, a lot of people question Thomas Jefferson basically being a deist right. or universalist or something. Uh, and uh, Benjamin Franklin, he denied, he didn't think Jesus was divine. So according to the scriptures, Jesus said, you know, if you deny me, you deny right. my father. And so therefore, when Benjamin right. Franklin said, quote, God, he wasn't really talking about God. He didn't know God. He could speak of him. He just had his own beliefs. And so, in the same time, those were two major leaders of the colonial days in the new nation. And uh, so, if you, if you really know God and love God, why join with them as if in prayer and, oh, you know, hey, we're all speaking of God. We all pray to God. God listens to everyone's prayers. But, you know, hey, no, that's not the Christian way. The Christian way is to back up and say, Ben, Tom, you guys need to change. You guys are in dear need of getting right with God. And now, I'll say this I, I, I hear what you're saying is that there, there has to be an absolute truth and that they can't all just arbitrarily base God and truth and right off of nothing. What, what do you think is um, the absolute truth? Well, we've just got to get right with God. We've got to seek God and uh, get to know His will. If we, if we know God, we love God. If God's only lovable, if, if, uh, if we seek God's will and what's pleasing to Him, if we grow in love, uh, we'll find the truth. Do you believe the Bible is the absolute truth? I believe the Christian, uh, what God says is absolute truth. The, Christian, the, the Bible uh, certainly... Do you believe He's accurately preserved His word for the believer? I believe that the Bible is not 100% perfect. I believe that there are some words that aren't necessarily 100% accurate. But I do believe that God, uh, the Bible is full of truth. The Bible is largely, largely, largely uh, accurate and so forth. Okay. How, 
Um, I assume you're a Christian. Yeah. What, do you, what do you think? What, <laughs> what, what faith? Why did you ask that? <laughs> After what, everything I just said, why do you? Why did? You, why would you ask that? Um. Yeah, that's a very good point. What uh, What religious background are you? All right. Well. I'm that's enough for now. I don't know why you're even asking this. Okay. Well, how do you believe uh, somebody should come to? Be with you. Oh, let me give you a couple of handouts. How does uh, somebody come to Christ? What is it with you uh, recording stuff? What's that? What is it with you recording stuff? I said I'm done. Oh, I was just uh, interviewing you. I was very interested. Okay, and then I said I'm, I'm done. Be with you. Okay, thank you, sir.